It's not widely known that the rolling hills in Tasmania's northwest are home to a herd of buffalo. We used to run fallow deer. Um, basically they went from being worth something to worthless within three years. Um, so we decided to have a go at something that no one had ever tried. Why buffalo? Well, they were already attached to Phil when I met him, so <laughs> I didn't really have much of a choice. In 1997, he started Tasmania's only commercial herd, with just two cows and a bull brought in from Victoria. More than 20 years later, the farm is going strong. We started off with swampies, um, basically the same as what we've got in the Northern Territory, um, mainly for their meat factor. It's become a much sought after product, especially among Tasmania's migrant communities. One of my colleagues here, he's also from Iraq, he said to me, do you know Rana, there is a buffalo farm here and they do sell milk. And I was thinking, what? That's the best ever <laughs> news that I heard. Rana Anjanavi uses the milk to make kema, a thick clotted cream traditionally eaten with bread and date syrup. So when I came to Australia, it, I missed that part of tradition and that part of the food. The national industry body says there are only around 10 buffalo dairies in Australia. If you see a milk tanker going down the road in India, there's a good chance that it's full of buffalo milk and not cow's milk over here, whereas you know, it's on a much smaller scale. Quite often at the markets people say, ah, oh, they brought it in from the Northern Territory. It's like, no mate, truly, they're here. We breed them here. These gentle giants have become popular amongst the locals. So much so, the farmers have decided to increase their herd from around 14 buffalo to 50, with hopes of one day exporting their produce right around Australia. April McLennan, ABC News, Preston.